2018, the Tucson nonprofit IM Youth 360 has worked on a project to help foster youth aging out of the system. Find a place to call home. Yeah, for the last three years since construction began, Kega 9's Tina Giuliano has been following this story and shares an update now. Here at the IMU 360 Tiny Home Experience, they are just that much closer to the finish line. And finally, they were able to add some greenery. And there's more to come. Make a little hole in the dirt. When I see the community come together, oh my goodness, that is uh, a dream. It's a dream that founder Desiree Cook had, which started to come to life back in 2018. Small homes for foster kids aging out of the system. Where we're so close uh, to the finish line. Each young adult will have a one bedroom home. Half of the rent they pay will be put into an escrow account, setting them up for the future. And then we'll be safely housing 19 underserved uh, young adults from 18 to 22. While the homes are nearly done, Cook pushes for more greenery. To let the kids know that you deserve to be in a beautiful environment. In partnership with Lowe's and Wells Fargo, volunteers helped beautify the village. We came this morning, I brought my family. By planting new plants. It's really unique to know that a whole community is coming together to ensure that they have a happy home. Working together to make the community a better place. So really just making a house a home is really what it's about. The village is set to be finished in December. Reporting from Van Buren and 22nd, Tina Giuliano, KGUN 9.